Hi, I'm Andrew Watson. Thanks for tuning in once again to my guitar blog. It is Wednesday, June 29th, 2011, and this time around I got a question sent to me from James out in Chicago, Illinois. Uh, he says here, I've been playing guitar for about three years now and I know basic theory and I can play songs and stuff like that, but I recently started studying scales, more specifically the major scale, but I'm having some trouble understanding all the different keys and the positions on the neck and so on. I feel stuck in my playing and I'd like to start improvising and composing in the near future. I feel scales would help me greatly, but I also feel like I go all over the place in my practicing schedule. I feel like I'm not getting anywhere. Any help or advice or tips would be greatly appreciated. Well, thanks a lot for writing in, James. I really appreciate your email message. And you know, a great way to start here and sorting out your keys is through the use of some kind of flashcard trainer system. And I happen to know of a great website that has a key signature trainer on it. A uh, website that'll help you with this a lot is called musiccards.net and you can practice your major and minor keys, your notes on the neck, triads and intervals and a whole lot more over at that website. It's excellent. So uh, go there, check that out, do some work every day. Maybe about three or four weeks will go by and you're going to see great improvements for yourself. Now when it comes to positions on the neck, now you'll need to spend time organizing octave patterns across the fingerboard and how to study how scales work on the guitar and so on. So it's gonna be a bit of a project for you. It could take literally months before this really starts sinking in. But I have two video lessons over at my Creative Guitar Studio YouTube channel that cover this topic well. They are how scales work on the guitar fretboard and how to practice scales. Now the final part of your question though involving practice and the creation of a practice schedule is crucial. And I'd like you to take a look at mapping out small time frames for every topic you want to practice each day. And use the link in the description box below to download one of my practice schedule worksheets. You'll want the time frames on that worksheet to be about five minutes in length for each subject. And after about every 15 minutes or so, take a five minute break to keep your mind fresh and clear your head. After each topic, uh, for short periods, uh, go through the material again and rehearse, uh, re revisit basically, but uh, hit those topics for a minimum length of time of at least three weeks. You'll want to spend quite a bit of time, at least upwards of a month, before you start engaging new topics. And also you want to gauge your progress using a metronome, so keep track of your metronome settings on that practice sheet. Uh, also, one thing I want to add uh, before I wrap up is for song practice, have a goal of playing along with the original recordings. It might take you a long time till you can play through the entire song that you're working with, but that is an excellent way to develop your skills with tunes that you're working on. Well, uh, basically, that's about all the time that I have for today. Thanks again for the question, James. I hope my answers have helped you out somewhat. Thanks, everybody, for watching and for sending in all the great questions. Have yourself a great week, and I'll catch up with you on the next guitar blog. Bye for now.